She's grown in the Himalayas, India, and Pakistan, and rivals Jasmine for the top spot. Huh? It's basmati rice. Fun facts. Basmati rice is rich in vitamin B and has antioxidant elements. This yummy and super common side dish contains magnesium and selenium, which really contribute to the health of your nervous system and strengthens the body's immunity to protect it from injury, disease, and germs. The grains of the basmati rice expand to more than two times their size, which means my stomach is extra happy. Today, I am hooking up some basmati rice, especially for you, but with a little twist. Not only am I making the rice, but I am going to give it a little something extra to give it a little something extra. You know what I mean? Let's go. I'm starting with two cups of basmati rice that I've lightly rinsed. And here comes the twist. I'm placing the rice in my pot and filling it with enough water to cover the rice. This little beauty is gonna hang out on the counter and soak like this for 30 minutes to become quite the beautiful butterfly. It's 30 minutes later and I've rinsed and drained my rice and now it's time to cook her up. I have my pot set on medium high, which for me is eight out of 10. I'm stirring my rice around for a few minutes to give any remaining water time to evaporate. With barely any sizzle left, I'm adding two teaspoons of avocado oil, stirring that in and continuing to stir for about a minute or so to give the rice a teeny tiny bit of toasting. Next up, I'm adding three cups of water along with one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and giving that a stir to make sure everything is very well combined. When my water has a really good boil going, I'll cover the pot with a lid, lower the heat to low, which is three out of 10 for me, and let this cook for 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is up, I'll turn off the heat, move the pot to a cool burner, and let the pot sit as is for another five minutes before taking the lid off, fluffing the rice with a fork, and just taking in all that delicious scent. Seriously, look at how pretty and fluffy this rice is. She is so lovely. The grains are all independent of each other and super fluffy. And look at the size of these grains. They are longer than usual, thanks to the supreme soaking we did at the very beginning. I really love that pre-soak. I find that it makes the rice way more aromatic and flavorful, and I'm here for all of it. Seriously, this is magic. My rice is done and I am so excited to try it. Listen, the house smells incredible right now, incredible. So not only did I make basmati rice, but I soaked it first, which is just really uh, symptomatic. Will you symptomatic of like an Indian dish, which I love Indian food. So it just gives, you probably can't see this, but it makes the grains extra, extra long and just really, oh my God, all the things, all the things. This is hands down my favorite rice. I love basmati rice. Let's taste test. Oh my God, I'm trying to swallow fast so I can talk to you. This rice is so fragrant. It has like a floral scent and even flavor. I mean, I don't run around eating flowers, but there's something about this that tells me that if I did run into a field and eat some flowers that it would taste quite similar. So because I soaked the grains, they are longer than usual. Can you see that? And these grains are just, they are not sticky. They are all independent of each other. It's like a bunch of Beyonce's in here. You know what I mean? A bunch of independent single ladies going on. It is so, so good. And it is like, it's packed with flavor. And you saw all I did was add a little bit of salt. That is it. So, so good. So what's the perfect love interest for this basmati rice? This video. Check it out and watch Love Bloom. Love Bloom.